Now the next thing I can do without any hesitation is actually I can make the holes. Now there are different ways to attach this. Um, the safest but the ugliest to me is um, just to, to get those uh, metal stainless steel clamps like two clamps, you know how they, they, they look like this and you tie them up. Uh, make a hole so you can screw like uh, each screw to one of the clamps and then just to get the clamps, like the clamps will go like like this here and here and they'll, they'll hold it and you can remove it. Um, doesn't really interfere with the inside of the the tube. Now I don't like that because I like to, to look for this thing to look nice and um, um, I prefer to mount it directly like this like to to make a hole. So for that purpose um, I have to um, a little bit alter this here and here so it doesn't uh, like a uh, rattle like this stays flat and then I have to make two holes inside I'll tell you how I'm gonna isolate them and what exactly I'm planning to do this is extra step step and you don't really have to do it if you don't wanna because you can just use clamps or use different kind of handle on your preference or um, sometimes people they just put two two handles like this or 180 degrees from each other so they can hold it and they um, simply swim with it I need to, in my case, I prefer to hold it with one hand, so one handle is plenty for me. And this is how I'm gonna do it now because of um, the cap on this side and the cap on this side, they don't interfere with this. I'll, I'll put it in the perfect center. So it, it doesn't have to be like that perfect, but uh, as I said, I like the nice thing, so. I prefer to have it in the center. So, here we go. It, it is one of the things, one of the places. Um, I'll use better surface, I guess. This one has a scratch here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Center. Oops. Okay. I just want to make sure the the drill bit will not slip and make a scratch on the side. So, mm, with that said, let me just check something here. I prefer to use this as a guide to show me where the other hole will be. Said now, I can go ahead and drill the actual holes. Okay, one, one more to go. Two. Okay, let's check. Okay, looking good. Let's see if the screws go through. Yep, a little bit tight, but that's fine. Now, 
what I'm, I, I would do is if you look at the head of the screw, I don't want those heads to stick out in the tube because I don't want my camera scratched. The whole purpose of building the, the, the casing is to preserve the camera, not to mess it up. So I have to come up with a tool that will help me. I cannot, obviously I cannot use the drill to drill from this side and just to, to make a place for the head to fit. So I have to make up something and use it in order to create this kind of a wider holder. but this is what I did. So um, I just flattened it and the idea is when this thing turns those edges with will cut the, the plastic. So the way this will work let it cool down and um, I'll just stick it through the plastic. Let's make sure it goes through. Yep. So it goes through. But it will go from this side. Like this. Okay. So you can see how the head is um, shown. I'll go behind the camera so I can see what I'm showing you. Yeah, you can see how the the head is shown here. So I will um, by rotating, I'll, I will cut the plastic until the that whole he head disappears goes inside so so I'll, I will using the drill and I'll be pulling slightly so this goes into the wall So you can see how the head is totally in. So this way there is no scratching. And once I once I screw the the actual screw, I can even put like a tape or something just in case. In addition to that, but it's it's good enough the way it is right now because it's way in like a, a millimeter inside. So I'll do the same thing with the with other hole. Now you can see I will come again here. So you can see when I'm screwing the the screw goes all the way in. And it's way in. There is no way for this thing to to scratch or to cause any harm to the camera. Later I'll I'll tell you how exactly I'm gonna seal it so it doesn't leak because there is a potential leaking problem right now if it's not sealed. Okay then one more thing that I'm going to do is as I said just to file those a little bit Simply perfect. Okay. 
hay. Of course, it needs some cleanup. But that's about it. Already. So now I will try to use my sander with 220 grit. Hopefully it will work. The reason I'm using 220 is because this is what I have. Um, so I'll give it a try. If it works, it works. If not, I gotta do it by hand. Actually, did a pretty decent job. As you can see, I'll go behind the camera so you can see. As you can see, there's no place that the sandpaper didn't touch, and it's pretty even. So I'll do the same thing with the pipe. I just want to show you if something is not even how it looks like. So I know where to work on. You can see this here. How it's still not sanded. Because it's low. And then there is uh, a little bit of a line here you can see it okay now you can see there is everything is even no line anywhere so it should be good to go Okay, the next thing what I'm gonna do is again I'll use this technique to to clean the edge. Okay, let me show you how it looks like. So you can see here how has this uh, it's not sharp edge anymore inside and out um, I will do a similar thing just on the outer edge here so um, and the inner edge on this one so it will be easier to fit together um, Let's see how it turned out here. So it has that uh, a little bit of a thing, so it's not sharp. I won't bother sanding it anymore with the sandpaper. This Utility knife does pretty good job. Okay. Already. Now, with that said, we'll put more effort on the. 